All right, let's get started here with our sample impeller that we'll need to have drawn before you come to class. Um, so we are replicating this impeller. It looks a little bit like this. This is a, uh, the impeller that comes within our fountain pumps. It's got a cylindrical uh, magnet at the base that's polarized across its diameter, north and south, and so when it's inside the motor housing, the rotating magnetic fields causes the magnet to spin, which indeed causes the impeller to spin here up on the top edge. So we're going to recreate uh, one that's easy to print in, with our 3D printer, and it's going to look something like the one here on the right. It's got the blue housing and the red top. And So I'm going to flip this up so we can take a quick look at, instead of the cylindrical magnets, we'll be putting uh, two plate magnets on each side, so we'll have to develop slots in this. And we're going to go ahead and use a tall, thick segment so that the connection between the surface and your impeller is strong enough um, given that we're printing them. It causes a little bit of difference in how they're made. The next thing we'll want to do is uh, do a little setup in SketchUp. Uh, first step is to check our model information. We are going to be using architectural units here and let's use the precision of 1 64th of an inch. And so that's found again uh, pulling up the model info page, selecting units, doing architectural, and then 1 64th. We probably don't need that precise, but it works out well for us. All right, so we'll close that. And the next thing we want to do is, one item we want to make sure and do differently here is let's select the circle tool. And without actually drawing a circle, let's select it. And then in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see a number of how many segments when it draws circles, how many segments it uses. Yours will probably say 24, so you want to type in 60 and hit enter. That means every time you draw a circle, it will draw one with more segments and it won't appear like it's got flat edges. All right, so let's go ahead and do the first part here. Let's draw the base. Our circle is going to be uh, 764, or, uh, excuse me, 7 seconds of an inch. And so seven divided by 30, uh, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, 7 divided by 32 for 7 30 seconds, and we hit enter, and that draws the base, and we can zoom in on it a little bit here. Um, we want to draw it up to its full height, so we'll use the push-pull command, select it, and the full height of our uh, assembly is going to be 1, and you hit the space and do 1760 divided by 64, 1 and 17 64 of an inch, and so you can see we've drawn that up to its full height. Uh, the next piece is going to require that we look at the bottom and draw the slots for the magnets shown here on the right. And So let's take a look at that. We're going to use a different tool. It'll be the measure tool that looks like a tape measure. We're going to go in here, zoom in, and we're going to choose the red axis here, select it, and then offset it. And the distance that we're going to offset this is one eighth of an inch. Um, one eighth of an inch We'll draw us a line there and we'll do the same thing and we'll offset it down. Uh, and I always use the keyboard uh, once you've started it moving. One eighth of an inch. Alright, let's go ahead and also add the slot width here. Okay, let's go ahead and take the green line and offset it. 17, 1 28th. That's a little less than a half a, uh, one half of a quarter of an inch. We'll offset it the other direction as well. 17 over 1 28. Alright, so the next step, go ahead and draw the lines. And so I'm going to grab, grab the pencil tool, look for the intersection there, draw down, draw down again, and draw up to the top. And again, you're looking for the intersection, so when it goes to the red X, and draw the other side. Oops, let me make sure I get the red X there. Alright, so that gets rid of those. So let's uh, go ahead and we're going to have to push those um, uh, to a depth of three quarters of an inch because that's how long the magnets are. So let's grab the push pull tool, select that, and we'll push it back three quarters of an inch. So three divided by four. And if we grab, touch the other one, and then touch this surface here, it'll match it up on the opposite side. So let's take a quick look, turn it around. Looks good. All right, so let's also, while we're at it, let's erase those uh, measured lines that we use to locate things. Just selecting them carefully and deleting them. That gets that piece set up. So 
Well, one of the last things we need is the hole through the bottom. And so let's grab the circle tool again and zoom in on the bottom. Uh, select the center. And this is small, so it's 7 over 128 is the size of that hole. So we want to use the push-pull tool, highlight it, and of course we can stretch it out, but we want to rotate around and bring it up to the top, and if we touch the surface, it plunges it right through. So you can see we've got the hole going all the way through. Now, there's uh, one, two other things on this we want to do. I want to actually restore this top surface. We'll need it later. It'll make things a little easier. So I just draw a line across this, and it closes it out and then delete that same line and it leaves the surface for a moment. So let's go ahead and um, make a group out of this. I'm going to draw from left to right across this and do a right click on it and group this piece of the work. This is the required piece. You have to, It has to be shaped like this. So the next piece I'm going to go ahead and do is color it. Let's pick a color that doesn't match with what I've got. I'm going to go ahead and turn the whole thing a tan color. So that takes that piece. So I'll close this and then we can move on to get the next, next piece done. Alright, the next piece of this is recreating the three blade impeller that's in most of the commercial impellers that we'll be testing as well. So we're going to draw that right on top of this. Um, again, this is one group. We're going to draw right on top of this group. So let's start with a circle that encompasses the entire uh, diameter of the uh, impeller and it is called an impeller because it's embedded inside of the motor and so let's make contact here and the overall diameter is one inch so we'll use uh, one half of an inch to get that surface in place. Um, let's take a line and we're going to try a couple new tools here so we're going to draw from the center out on the red line and get one line going there. Now the next tool we're going to again uh, use a tool called the protractor. It's on the left side on these. It's on the top on some uh, formats. So grab the protractor tool. We're going to touch the middle and down that edge and we're going to rotate it 120 degrees. So that gives us a 120 degree angle. Let's do that again and then we'll rotate it the other direction. Uh, again 120 degrees this direction. So then we grab our pencil tool and we're going to complete the blades of this three blade impeller. Now this is just a sample. You'll be creating a new impeller and you, the design is uh, your choice. So let's, I'm just showing you how to create uh, this impeller. So I'm waiting for that X to show up here because I, there we go. All right, so I've got those in there. Let's uh, take these and we need to offset them now. And so I'm going to grab the, uh, use the regular uh, cursor, select one of them, select a, select a second one, and then use the offset tool and click to one side. And we're only going to move these a half a millimeter. And so since we're using inches on the main model information, we're going to use 0.5 and then type MM next to it. If I hit enter, it offsets it. I grab the select tool again, select one and then the other and we're going to offset this group and go 0.5 millimeters enter and then do the last third of this diagram uh, grab one grab its partner offset tool again and offset it to one side oops um, click too soon there there we go 0.5 millimeters enter oops something happened there I have to redo one Somehow I hit delete by accident, so let's offset this one. I must have undid too much. 0.5 millimeters offset. So let's go in and delete the original lines. Okay, and we can also delete the original uh, protractor markers, those two. And let's see, the next piece we want to get rid of is. Uh, we need to add a circle here. Now this circle is actually on the part below it, so we need to recreate that. So again, that circle is 7128, so we'll touch there, come out to 7128. So now we have a circle on the part that we're drawing. The other one just happens to be in the background. Let's delete um, a few of these lines that are inside. 
and we'd like to offset this circle. So you highlight the middle of it and choose offset and then click on the outside. And we're going to do one millimeter for a wall thickness here. All right, so the next step is to delete some more items. And so let's uh, uh, delete uh, these inside here. We want these to be one surface inside. So now you can see that's all one surface and that's what we wanted. Even though it looks like the stuff behind is breaking it up, this is what we're going to want to pull up on. Now the height of this is uh, 5 30 seconds, so I'm going to highlight it and then pull it up. Let me rotate it around a little bit. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Escape. Select it one more time. Then we're going to come up 5 30 seconds hit enter. So that's the height of the original impeller. Now we just have a few things to delete. Uh, these surfaces here and the line. So that gets us to our original impeller. And so last thing here, let's uh, draw a box around this and make this one part. Group that. And let's color that real quick. Let's add the red color that I did on the original. Just paint that one piece. Oops, I forgot to turn it red. There we go. Takes care of that. And the last thing we want to do, or one of the last things, is the tan part has something we need to get rid of. And so I'm going to double click it. Remember we put that surface down inside. I'm going to delete that surface. And I think there's one more thing I have here, the red part, if I need to double click on it as well because there's a surface right there that's not needed. So now, if we click elsewhere, oops, now we can see right down through there, rotate down to the bottom, and that's the final part. So I'm going to, now that we have these two items, I'm going to group those, and that's our finished product. So. Uh, again, the tan part must be done identically. Uh, each student will create their own design for the impeller. And once they've seen how it fits into the pump, they've decided what shape to make it and uh, size changes to make. So that's the end of your first drawing item for week four.